And welcome to another daily cinephile vlog. And I think I forgot if I've ever done a video on some of the different posters I own. But yeah, I do own some posters. And um, not every one of them has a special story, I guess. But I'll just try to go through them as much as I can. Um, you know, I have a lot of movie posters from when I first moved into this house. Just because uh, originally the top floor kind of only had posters hanging up. But... After some changes in design, um, we ended up having the posters mostly moved down here. And some of them have still never been hung up properly. So I have this Toy Story poster. Now, this poster I've always loved. But it was really hard to find online in a bigger format like this. Um, this is my favorite poster of Toy Story. I just, I kind of, I love this shot a lot. Um, it's kind of a mixture of what the original shot in the movie is like and uh the placement of the dog so like that that dog this part of it is in the movie but it's not necessarily at this part where this is actually right after they let go of slinky so um i've always loved this poster and i've always wanted it and it was always just kind of it was always just kind of harder to find but eventually uh we were at this record store in the cities uh, the Twin Cities in Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and they happened to sell posters there, and they actually had this one, so was, uh, an incredible time to just find it, and yeah, ever since then, I've, uh, had it framed, I'm kind of one of those cheaper frames you can get from a Walmart, but, you know, not everything can be in a pristine wooden frame. We also have this Goonies poster here, and this uh, was at the exact same store, and this was yet, you know, another poster I've always liked, I've always liked this specific Goonies poster, there is another one where it's a shot of the entire cast, um, but this has been always my favorite, the Goonies, of course, one of my favorite movies, um, probably one of my all-time favorites, uh, Richard Donner directed, uh, rest in peace, Richard Donner, he actually died pretty recently, um, so I might be actually due to give this another watch. Um, this was actually re-released in theaters, uh, in the local theater a couple years back. And, uh, the day it was out, I actually saw the movie twice in one day at that theater. So, yeah. Big fan of the Goonies. Always have been. And then if we come over here. Yes. Have to have the Back to the Future poster. Sorry about the glare, but... This Back to the Future poster I've had since high school is actually given to me by a friend. Obviously, they knew I loved Back to the Future. So, I've always had this poster. It's always been a bit of a nicer frame. This is actually a nicer frame than the ones you usually find at the Walmart. And um, this isn't technically the original because actually, if you look at this uh, emblem in the corner, it says MCA Universal Home Video. So, this would actually be a reproduction of the... Uh, VHS promo poster, which is, you know, similar to the theatrical poster, but uh, this is probably something you would more likely find in a video store. It's still a reproduction, not an original, um, but yeah, I never realized that until years later. While looking at that corner emblem there, I was like, oh, it's actually not the original poster. I also have here, it's, um, it says Back to the Future 2. Uh, I actually can't even read that, but it starts to say Back to the Future Part 2, because as you can see on there, I watched that on 10-21-2015. Yeah, the future day. For five bucks, nonetheless. That's pretty awesome. One of the best re-releases I've ever been to. Pack Theater, all excited for Back to the Future Part 2. Unfortunately, they didn't show the first one. I've actually never seen the first one in theaters, so still looking for that re-release at some point. Um, this is a really cool poster. So this is the re-release of Avengers Endgame. This was the version where they had some different special features after the film. Uh, kind of pointless. There was like one deleted scene that had Hulk in it that obviously would have was not really any big deal. But they had, I guess, they had to do something for the re-release. They weren't making a longer extended cut of the movie. So they just added some different snippets. A, a tribute to Stan Lee as well. Um, but this poster was really what sold me. I, I loved this poster when he went there. Um, at first, they would, they didn't even really think about giving me the poster. It wasn't like the immediate, like, oh, you bought a ticket, here's your poster. I actually saw the stack 
um, and I was like, hey, you know, I need one of those, and yeah, so, <laughs> um, this frame, I forgot exactly where this came from, but I think this was originally for something else, but I ended up slipping this poster in there instead, I don't have a perfectly sized frame for this poster, but, um, I kind of like it in this frame anyway, it's kind of a nice frame, and, um, we love you 3000, because it did become the highest grossing movie of all time, and, uh, I like it, original artwork, it's great. Uh, my Raiders of the Lost Dark poster, and this one was actually purchased after I moved into the house, because love Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's my favorite Steven Spielberg film, and I don't really have much more to say about that poster, because it was, and there's not really a special story to it, it I just, I bought it, because I was in this house, and I bought it online, it's very easy to get that poster. Same goes for all three of these posters here, the Star Wars posters, which these hung upstairs for a long time. I originally only had the first one, but then over time I was like, screw it, I want all of them. So now I have all three posters. These would be films I'd also like to see re-released in theaters someday. Um, I have actually seen Return of the Jedi on a big screen in its original cut format um, after my former teacher uh, purchased a theater <laughs> uh, during the pandemic. Um, Everyone had to wear masks. They only allowed up to 20 people, but he didn't invite me to come. And it was the original cut of the film. The original cut that I happened to provide him with. There's my skeleton over there. Um, so I have seen the uh, Return of the Jedi in its original cut form. Oh, and if you look at that, there I am in reflection. <laughs> um... And then I have this Wally poster. What's really cool about this one is uh, it's actually a really big poster. Um, usually they come, I, I'm going to forget the standard sizes, but basically, and this one's not hung up yet because there, there was something on this wall for a while, but I'm going to be putting this on there. But as you can see, just based on its size, if it starts here, that's how much like bigger this poster is. So it's like, this is a really big poster, biggest poster I own. Uh, that's a lie, actually. I completely forgot I have my Wolf of Wall Street poster hiding behind there, so we'll have to go look at that. But Wally is actually the same size as my Wolf of Wall Street poster. And this is kind of cool because I got it from the Disney Movie Club as one of the prizes you win. And it's actually a double-sided poster. So if you flip it over, it's actually the reverse of this image. And um, I think that's how they're usually provided the theaters. I'm not quite sure, but basically... It's a really neat poster. Um, for many years, you probably can watch a really, really old videos. You can probably see this poster in the background, but uh, for many years, it didn't have a nice frame, but now it does, and it is being properly preserved. I have not seen Wally in probably, um, it's probably been even more than five years. I, I might be actually up to like 10 years since seeing this movie, and that, it was one of my favorite movies for a long time, so definitely have to give that a watch. So, I uh, have some clothes hanging up here because, you know, that's how wedding planning be. And, you know, you've probably already seen this poster before in some of my other videos, but yeah, here's another one. So, this poster is really cool because this is actually a poster that came from a movie theater. Um, it was a theater in Grand Forks. My sister actually got the poster uh, for me. Or, I don't know if she wanted to keep it for herself, but I basically took it over. Um, even, like, the edges of it, there was, like, a top white lining edge on the top and the bottom. Uh, but I got it fitted for this frame here. Uh, it's the same size as the Wally -E frame. But, technically, I guess this poster would be slightly bigger if you include those white edges. Uh, but the full image is the same size as the Wally -E poster. And... Yeah, this has always been a real cool poster because it actually comes from a movie theater. So, um, does that mean that it's worth something? Yeah, maybe. Also, I don't know why I'm opening this again, just because I need that closet open all the time. There's actually a vent in there, so you know what? Um, and then that's pretty much it for posters. Unless you want to include Mr. Sandler click over there, but that's more of a blockbuster promo thing. Something that my sister also got for me. Um, oh, you know what? There is 
run two more actually. This is actually upstairs. This is the Wizard of Oz poster. I actually got this for my fiance as a gift. When she moved in, we had it hung up and this is the only one that stays upstairs, but it kind of fits the upstairs aesthetic better than in those other posters. And um, this is like the original poster. There are several different posters and there's now been many posters since the film has lasted so many decades. Um, but this is like the original, original poster from my understanding. Um, very basic, you know, kind of what you would expect in the 30s or 40s of film. Not really original artwork, just a snippet from the film, but yeah, that's kind of cool. And then Stranger Things. And I always kind of forget this one's hanging up there and I don't see this one lasting too much longer. I really did like season one of Stranger Things. Couldn't really stand season two. Season two wasn't as great, but I thought the third one kind of brought things back on track. Here's looking forward to season four.